First things first, guys. How are you? Really good. Yeah, yeah. Good, considering everything. <laughs> good. Okay, I'm glad to hear. So, before we talk about your new record sports, I'd like to go back to the beginning a little bit. Because you, I believe you both kind of fell in love with punk music at an early age. What was it about that type of music, that, that mentality that you liked, that you enjoyed? Mm. I don't know. Uh, I started to uh, listen to punk music yeah, quite young, probably because it was uh, good fun to play it. Mm. Uh, yeah, rather than the rather than the attitude, I think I didn't learn about the moral thing about punk until okay. a bit later. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I think it was just because it was good fun to play punk music. It was quite fast and loud and mm. yeah, it was just fun. And obviously you grew up in a musical family. So was, was that what was playing uh, a lot or did you grow up with all kinds no, of No, I think uh, I grew up, I think punk was probably the least played music in my, in my house okay. if I if I remember right, uh, it was more of some dub music and okay. maybe baroque. Okay. Baroque during Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, all all kinds, all kinds of ballet music as well mm. and stuff like that. Uh, classical composition. Uh, it took my bachelor in that, okay. and I think it was a bit uh, more modern mm. music there. Uh, my, uh, genre called spectral music. Okay. That was kind of maybe probably the most classical music that, that was inspiring me in this album just because it's, it's a period. It's like mm. sound, spectral music is sounds, uh, sounds being born, sounds dying, but uh, not that our music is spectral music, but <laughs> not not even close to it. But I think just that uh, that thought of music that sound is music, mm -hmm. not that music is sound, uh, had something to do with it. But I don't know. I think nothing in my my childhood music has <coughs> nothing to do with like this outcome of sport. It's just. Uh, development okay. in life. What about you, Gulli? <laughs> did you listen to Baroque music? No. No. No, I did not. Yeah, but if, you, if you look back at, at uh, the early days, because then that's kind of where you first shaped as a band. And then obviously it was something very different from what you do now. It was uh, mm -hmm. Captain Foo Fun. Mm -hmm. So how do you see the transition? Because I believe in, in it was around 2014 that you kind of changed uh, your sound and uh, went in another direction. Yeah, I mean, like what brought us together was like electronic music mm -hmm. in the first place, and basically what happened in like 2013 or 14 was just that we wanted to take the sound like further, mm -hmm. take the next step and yeah and this is what happened like I don't know we didn't take any decision like that we wanted to change from electronic music to mm -hmm. rock music or something no, just I happened think we like started to experiment more with uh, live instruments yeah because we'd always, we'd always been sure. using some live instruments sure and I think just the need of doing more, mm. like just ex experiment more. Was yeah, just I mean, for me, uh, I was still like doing the same music, just okay. like maybe different tempo or more like live instruments or something. I don't know. Well, what I was wondering about this. Um, it's, uh, how, how much of, the, of this kind of development was uh, part of the live show? Because live, uh, it seems, then, then with 
live instruments, you, you have a lot more possibilities mm -hmm. in a way. And probably, uh, I think the sound probably started to, yeah, the idea of, the idea of what we could do uh, mm -hmm. was born live. Mm. Because we were bringing yeah. the guitars in and trumpet even, and live drums. Yeah, live live drums. I think uh, we were quite quite fascinated of having a live yeah live drummer playing techno music. Mm. That was that was our idea that we could be doing electronics and guitars, mm. and uh, and live drummer would be doing the the beats, mm -hmm. and and that is basically what we are doing today. Okay. Uh, but I'm just seeing as well. <laughs> well, because you know, well, that's one part of it. Because at some point, lyrics or, or vocals have to come in. So, so for you, when when did that develop? Was that around the same time, or was it even before that you started thinking about it? No, it was. It was at the same time. Okay. Uh, I I lived in London, and yeah. You know, the main instrument that I had there was was a piano, uh, mm -hmm. and I just spent a lot of time with the piano, like away from the studio and that I'd been using, mm -hmm. and all the gear, and it kind of just uh, asked for asked for more. Sure. Uh, because I was just playing the piano, and my piano skills are are limited, but so I could do blah, blah, something with it and do more sounds and from their lyrics came and I think also just I was a lot alone okay. uh, that you start to think about bad things and I was surrounded in music mm. at that time and just uh, opened a window mm. that lyrics could be like an expression it, it was something that I could do I could practice a bit, sure. and uh, you don't have to be born ready to write lyrics. It it's just a craft that you can exercise, and then right. you just maybe you're good, or maybe you're okay, or maybe just average. Do you know? It's like sure, it's it's the work. Yeah, it's and it's the work. same same with painters. It's sure. just you have to get the feel for the pencil, and that's the same with music and lyrics. So Gulli, if we, if we take uh, one of the first songs that had lyrics on it, which one were you impressed by, something that, that, uh, that he wrote? I don't know, I was just really like, quite surprised that he mm -hmm. could write lyrics. Okay. It's like all of a sudden, because he hadn't, hadn't been writing lyrics at all. So yeah, pretty much just everything, I think. Really surprised. And this, this is kind of uh, a question both on the music and the lyrics. But how much? Because it, when when I listen to sports, it's it's very um, there's a certain mood in there. So so it, when you come up with the music and the lyrics, do you have to be in a certain mood, or do they influence each other? I mean, the music. Uh, I can almost say that the music almost. Uh, always comes first, okay. uh, and maybe there are some small, uh, small sentences or parts of lyrics mm -hmm. that have been written down, and then some demo just calls. Yeah, this is the, this is the right, right music. It has the right flow to it and everything. Uh, but I. I don't think that, I mean, maybe it's just the, the melodies of the lyrics mm. affect then the music again, like it starts to, it shapes the songs maybe a bit, uh, but, <coughs> but yeah, I think we're not that developed that the music and the lyrics are like, that the, I don't know, I think it's not, uh, I think the lyrics maybe just affect the music afterwards. Yeah. Like it gives the music, uh, extra yeah, some, something extra touch that uh, a bit.
bigger bigger understanding just for us as listeners mm. uh, but in the in the creation of it I think it's just more of a natural natural thing.